The sniper attack at a Black Lives Matter protest that killed five police officers in Dallas last night was painfully predictable. The suspect said he was upset about Black Lives Matter. He said he was upset about the recent police shootings. The suspect said he was upset at white people. The suspect stated he wanted to kill white people, especially white officers. Nearly a year ago, I warned, quote, Black Lives Matter cannot be described as anything other than a domestic terrorist organization. Why did I say that? Because the ideological inspiration behind Black Lives Matter, Asata Shakur, the woman whose name BLM activists chant at all their rallies, is a convicted cop killer who is on the FBI's most wanted terrorist list. Because Black Lives Matter sympathizers have carried out numerous attacks already. Ishmael Brinsley shot two NYPD officers in the head as part of a Black Lives Matter revenge attack. Bryce Williams shot dead TV reporter Alison Parker and cameraman Adam Ward as part of a racially motivated attack. BLM agitators threatened to bomb a police station in Ferguson. Just yesterday, hours before this attack, I discussed how Black Lives Matter protesters marched in New York while calling for dead cops. Dead cops! Yeah! Here's another one of BLM's favourite chants. Pigs in blankets fry them like bacon. Pigs in a blanket fry like bacon! Pigs in a blanket fry like bacon! Armed Black Panthers in Austin chanting the only good pig is a pig that's dead. Imagine there was a racist right-wing political group whose inspiration was Timothy McVeigh whose supporters chanted about killing black people, whose supporters went out and actually killed black people. Would the media give them any credibility? Of course not. But the media has given Black Lives Matter both credibility and a serious platform for two years. Barack Obama has defended Black Lives Matter on numerous occasions and met with its leaders. Hillary Clinton promised to change laws to appease Black Lives Matter. They all have blood on their hands. Remember, it was the media that sold this hands up, don't shoot fraud from the very beginning, bolstering the lie that racist white cops were deliberately out to murder black people, when unarmed blacks and whites are killed at the same ratio. When more whites are killed by cops than blacks, despite blacks being involved in more confrontations with cops. We're already seeing desperate efforts to bury the true narrative behind this attack. Obama blaming guns. We also know that when people are armed with powerful weapons, unfortunately it makes attacks like these more deadly and more tragic. Cops shoot black suspects. It must be racism. Suspect shoots cops, says he wanted to kill white people, it must be guns. Jesse Jackson blaming Donald Trump. Black Lives Matter leader D. Ray McKesson and other BLM supporters claiming that the attack has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter because it happened after the protest in Dallas. Really? Is that why video shows protesters running away from the bullets? Leftists like Sally Cohn ludicrously claiming that BLM is non-violent after two years of violent rhetoric and violent attacks by BLM. They'll claim this has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter and that BLM is a peaceful group. Even though BLM supporters called for killing cops just hours before the sniper attack, while Black Lives Matter supporters are all over Twitter celebrating the bloodshed in Dallas while thugs in Dallas taunt the cops in the aftermath of the attack. And remember that it was the left who insisted that it's impossible for non-white people to be racist. Does Dallas change that? Five cops killed by someone who explicitly said he was out to kill white people. Is that not racist? Is that not a hate crime? What happened in Dallas was a left-wing terror attack motivated by BLM extremism, which was legitimized by the media and the Obama administration at every turn. This is the culmination of years of social justice warrior hysteria 
over identity politics. The blame for Dallas rests with those who encouraged violent, racist hate speech against cops and white people in general. It's time for the left to dial back its racist, anti-white rhetoric. But this shouldn't be about black versus white. No one wants a race war. This is about the scourge of violent, collectivist, Marxist liberation theology. This is what Black Lives Matter represents. We must work harder than ever to discredit the ideology that manifests what happened in Dallas. An ideology that seeks to subvert what makes America great. I'll end with the words of Diamond Reynolds, girlfriend of Philando Castile. The black man shot dead by police during a traffic stop that was broadcast live on Facebook. She'd be labelled a racist by Black Lives Matter co-founder Marissa Jenner Johnson, who said that using the term all lives matter was a racial slur. Well, all lives do matter. But until we delegitimize the violent domestic hate group known as Black Lives Matter, more lives are going to be lost. And not Black Lives Matter, all lives matter. Every single life out here matters. No matter the color, the race, the nationality, we all deserve to be hurt.